Hey guys, King of Charmaster here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you my best tap tap team for the Johto Cup. Now it's kind of not a tap tap team because you have literally three super. A lot of these mons get to their charge moves really fast. So you're just going to beat the unholy hell out of your opponent. And that's the goal of Go Battle Day. Get through your sets really quickly with as many W's as possible. I tested three different variations of teams, and this one came out on top. So. This one, great tap tap team, will do a ton of tap tap damage and will fire, will break shields really quickly. It really banks on just cover. It has great coverage and damage for the sacrifice of bulk. Not all threes are really bulky, but because they get to their charge moves so quickly, they're going to put a ton of pressure on your opponent and you're just going to beat the unholy heck out of them. Hence, what you see here, may I show you the team analysis. As I always say, please consider contributing to pvo.com. All you have to do is go to this tab, go to this tab right here, go to contribute, and you can contribute. We got Mag Cargo in the lead. Raikou is going to be your safe switch. We're going to be using Wild Charge Shadow Ball, but we're using Volt Switch. Volt Switch is OP. You can use Thunder Shock, but the thing is, with Volt Switch, as you see here, the coverage increases. Because some people were like, because me and my friend was like, why don't you try Thunder Shock? And I'm like, Volt Switch is just better because you get the damage and if you get those extra Volt Switches through charge moves, it's freaking amazing. And as you see the Thunderbolt versus the Volt Switch, you get an A for coverage. So your coverage increases and literally it's this team is nuts. It does really, really well. B for consistency. So just consistent damage, not a lot of bulk, not very safe either. However, Raikou is a top safe switch in the Johto Cup just because of the fact that it has... Volt Switch and Wild Charge combination is just so dang OP. Gramble's gonna have Charm, of course. You're gonna do the Charm 2 Shield strat here, or you're gonna save your shields for Mag Cargo or Raikou to just go to town with its Charge moves, and or you're just going to fast move down for your win condition. Crunch Close Combat is going to be the play here. Hopefully, usually I will crunch instead of Close Combat depending on what's in front of me, just so that I could get the debuff. But usually you don't need it, but it's just also the fact that you get the charm. You get the crunch pretty, not fast, but it's faster than play rough. And of course, crunch close combat is a preferred moveset anyways. As you see here, really great against the overall meta. You're going to do really well. Your best, you're like hopefully you could grab Skarmory leads or the grass leads, which Mag Cargo can catch very often here. So that's why you could just kind of like realign everything and tap, tap, charge, move down for the victory, which you're going to see in the shout cast. This team has a very low threat score. As you see here, very low threat score. And even though it's weak to Quagsire, Meganium, Mag Cargo, etc. Because you have that charge move damage, you can pressure shields. So you're going to see me beat Meganiums and Ma you're going to see me beat Meganiums and Lanterns pretty comfortably. And if you see Quagsire, all you're basically going to do is say switch into Raikou and then just two shield charm strat and try to come out with the W. That's the play if you see a Quagsire. But this team is very powerful. And usually you're not going to see people with Quagsires anyways because if they're trying to run through their sets, they're probably not going to be using Quagsire. Keywords probably, but as you see here, this team does really well, really fast, and you're going to run through your sets really quickly, and I do 5-0 with it. So, before we get started, my mental health tip of the day is going to be make sure y'all pace yourselves. This is Go Battle Day, and even though you don't have an ELO rating, well, even if it was like a Legend set, like, even though if it was like a Legend rated season to like you got many of you still don't have your ratings so even now it would be kind of chill do your best run through it go as fast as you can a hundred battles takes about a hundred battles takes a while so if you're gonna do freaking a hundred yeah if you're gonna do a hundred battles make sure y'all you pace yourselves i can run through them pretty comfortably because my emotions don't run high whenever i battle to begin with when people tell you they like do feeling or whatever, if you have anxiety, sadness, or anger, or you feel a lot of emotion and you're not mindful or wise in the moment, you're lying to yourself because you're not. You're taking yourself out, you're draining your energy. Be mindful, be wise, pace yourself, go th or just run through them like I will with a tap tap team. Put on some music, have some coffee, or I'm gonna stream later today. So I'm streaming again on Twitch, by the way. So if y'all want to like, yeah, I'm streaming again on Twitch. So make sure y'all follow me on Twitch if you guys want to see me stream live stream because I'm getting on a consistent schedule now. Now that my therapy job, I'm really used to it now and I've got a rhythm going. So 
even when I move to my AMFT position or AM APCC position, hopefully I get my Kaiser job. I'm trying to apply for Kaiser, so I really want to work at a hospital as a therapist for experience, so pray for me. Anyways, this is a 5-0. Pace yourselves for my mental health tip of the day, and let's get started. All right, so here are the battles. Like I said, this team goes by pretty fast just because of the charge move pressure and the fact that you're using just tap tap move damage in general. As you see here, Mag Cargo into Skarmory. This is great for us, but this is why I also like this team. This takes advantage of the Skarmory Azu safe switch kind of deal. As you see here, all we're going to do is just put Raikou onto Azu, and it's not a bad matchup because you'll have to shield one, but as with any wild charge user, you're just going to double up and light this stupid bunny on fire. So, well, you're not going to light it on fire. You're going to zap it to death. You know what I mean? You're going to you're gonna put it on the electric chair, and then it's going to be like, you know, Spider-Man on carnage where you tried to execute them but yeah dang that was that got really dark really quick sheesh it's like the new batman movie or dc everything's just dark but as you see here we're going to charge and wild charge to death and we're going to be able to just get to another one because you know freaking raiku is such a beast and we're just for taking these shields taking our opponent's soul our opponent has a fire move here unless you want to eat another wild charge and now the thing is, Gramble can't really eat two last resorts. That's what kind of sucks. But at the same time, if Umbreon is this low, you should just be able to charm down. Foul play goes off. We send in the Gramble, and then we should be able to charm down. They're only going to be able to get one last resort off because I'm able to get this charm through, as you see here. Last resort goes off, does about half of its damage, or almost half of my Gramble's HP. And then we're going to expect Karmia to come in. And all I'm going to do is send in Mag Cargo, and we're just going to Rock Tomb this thing to Oblivion. We're gonna get the debuff you don't really have to shield anything here because if you get the first debuff in general you can pretty much eat anything skarmory has to offer if you're in even shield scenarios and you already know how this story goes we're going to light you on fire drop it like it's hot D yeah you, you know if you know that song we could be best friends because it's a pretty old song but you know what that was during my day so we're just gonna overheat the freaking overheat overkill the star and oblivion and that's ggs so let's go baby this 5-0 starts off with a good rps moment and hopefully this happens a lot for you during go battle day so that you don't really have to go through a lot of battles as you see that only took about a minute or not a minute like a little over a minute and now we lose the lead which is terrible we got tyrantar into mad cargo because rockdo does super effective damage as you see here raikou is your straight switch so i usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna double up as you see here so i'm gonna double up and then i'm gonna fire wild charges our opponent stops tapping but i don't think they stopped tapping i think what they did was they're gonna double shield here and then they wanted yeah see they didn't lag at all they just stopped they like mistapped for a moment for i don't know why but either way i still would have got to two wild charges as you see here two rock throws walk through does go through but we're in two to zeros and all we're gonna do is sending gramble because our opponent is slow to the freaking pull their trigger on their charge move we're able we're gonna be able to charm down and then we get a hitmon top thrown into us so as you see here we're lagging terribly but it doesn't even matter we have two shields I have everything set up for freaking Mag Cargo to literally nuke whatever's in the back or for Gramble to stay in and close combat it to death. And we happen to get a jump bluff. This is GG's. As you see here, this team is very mighty. And with Mag Cargo, all we're going to do here is we can eat Acrobats or Energy Ball. And then all I'm going to do is double up on a move. And then I'm going to take out this jump bluff. As you see, I'm firing Rob Tomb. I should be able to farm down with an incinerate and then all we're gonna do is go for the overkill as in i'm going to overheat the unholy hell out of the freaking hitmon top in the back and that's gonna be ggs because we got this incinerate through and no matter what they throw at us with the minus one debuff on rock tomb we should still be able to live and as you see we do live in energy ball minus one i have a shield it's freaking game over even if this hitmon top has a meal we got a big shield holding us up, up right here and all we're gonna do is overheat for the game and that's ggs that was terrible. As you see here, Gramble with Charm is a very good tap-tap team. And put together with this one, that was a good example of how Raikou functions as a safe switch. Or Raikou. I say Raikou, but like, you know, Raikou, Raikou, whatever the hell. You can roast me in the comments. And as you see, I accidentally jump into Open Great League. Many of you probably have done this during your 100 battles in Go Battle Day. And as you see here, we get a Mana Bus thrown into us, which is great because I can send in Raikou. And all we're going to do is double up on Wild Charge. We're going to do what we usually do. Mana Buzz doesn't have a high attack. So because of that, we should be able to eat a Dark Pulse or a Aerial Ace or whatever the heck they have thrown at us pretty comfortably right here. And all I'm going to do is double up on Wild Charges and then fire. So we're going to come out with the two shield advantage or they're going to let their mana buzz go. 
as you see here even though Raiko is we're decently glassy we're going to be able to get to two wall charges and then i should be able to either one let they're gonna let it go or they're going to double shield here and lose this a uh, humongous advantage my pawn is probably like ah crap this is gonna suck wall charge goes through they let their mana buzz go and they lose a shield and this happens to be a stun fist that comes in which is kind of terrible because rock slide still does super effective damage so this is believe it or not this is actually pretty rough i'm not gonna shield anything here if it's a hyper beam i live as you see it's a foul play so all i'm gonna do is send in ramble and i'm gonna charm down we have two shields so what's gonna happen here is i'm not gonna shield anything here if they foul play me this move set must be discharge foul play unless they have hyper beam which i highly doubt it if you have foul play electrode and as you see they don't have they don't have hyper beam i'm able to charm down here i can get to the close combat so as you see i'm just going over one i'm gonna fire the close combat and then this will either do big damage if they let it through or yeah I, I i don't know why you're shieldless but as you see they don't shield and because of that i should just be able to charm down here even though i have minus two as you see here charm is just chunking and then i should be able to shield whatever comes through charm down two shields ggs open great league literally and i was like oh wow okay dang so this scene could work for open great league too if you want to use it but again this is for the johto cup so don't if you it could still i still got the 5-0 despite accidentally jumping into open great league so that's freaking great and wow that's ironic but as you see here we got town doom into we got we got the giant devil dog dinosaur well no devil puppy devil wattweiler into our mag cargo this is a winning lead for us just because we double resist these fire fangs and rock doom does super effective damage we'll be able to get to the debuff today for they do because fire fang charges really 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 slowly as you see here we're gonna get foul play that's perfectly fine we live it pretty comfortably i should be able to get the second rock tomb through and they have a decision either to shield here or they're gonna let this through they're likely gonna let this through because of the fact that you don't want to expend the shield and as you see they're already down a shield so they're like okay they send in lantern which is kind of concerning because the thing about yeah it, this thing charges really quickly and it's kind of kind of outpaced my gramble as well as raiko so i'm like oh I'm in trouble we get the debuff through i will switch into raiko and i catch either a this is a this was pretty sexy by the way this is a thunder a thunderbolt and it is a thunder so we catch and we minus one electrocution works out and then that's meganium and i'm kind of like oh crap so meganium is really good against my back row again outpacing so like you know frenzy plant op op af super op hella op and you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna ball out. Absolutely ball. So we're gonna ball. Ball so hard that your elo will never find me. Well, technically you don't have an elo anyways in this season, but you know it's what it is. We're gonna double up on the shadow ball. I managed to get that volt switch through, which is great. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to shadow ball and then I the timer should be up on switch. As you see, it's almost done. So my game plan here is to send in Raikou. I mean, send in Gramble and then charm down. And hopefully they don't get a move through. As you see here, double charm, bam perfect execution lantern comes back in i should just be able to crunch for the w and even if they hydro pump me that's fine or whatever move comes through if it kills that's perfectly fine because i still got mad cargo and raiko to do fast move damage and that should be ggs as you see this lantern is only one fast move away from freaking the shadow realm i send it to the shadow realm this is the wrong franchise but you know yugi moto is op anyways and as you see i send i mind break this lantern and send it to the next the shadow realm or the netherworld or wherever the underworld of the pokemon air is say hi giratina no i would never want to go see if you see a giratina in your nightmares it's probably really bad as you see we got meganium into mad cargo and this actually isn't a bad matchup the reason being is because meganium takes neutral damage from frenzy plant and frenzy plant does so much damage that you can kind of sack your lead like you can just like run through card cargo and meganium but luckily here they switch out they switch into umbreon and guess what we have from umbreon save switches we got gramble so at gramble is such a great save switch if your opponent is going super mega try hard mode during go battle day and they use umbreon save switch guess what you can throw gramble in here and base say bye 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 you're it didn't matter that you built this for johto freaking commute for johto tour day bro like we're just gonna charm you down we're gonna get the full charm down the problem is meganium is still very 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 op and we get a skarmory so i'm gonna fire crunch as i want to i might be able to get to a second crunch here and that's a shadow skarmory hopefully grab the debuff and unfortunately we don't that's perfectly fine though the reason being is because 
we should be able to we got raiko so the good thing is raiko functions like lantern electric resists flying so because of that you can send in raiko and then they're probably gonna brave bird here which is perfectly fine and then we're gonna be able to send in mag cargo in my idea here is to send in mag cargo to get an extra incinerate worth of energy as you see i send in mag cargo get that extra incinerate worth of energy because we need that for this meganium i'm going to straight rock tomb here and i'm not going to shield the first one my opponent's win condition here is to get to two earthquakes unless they don't know that which i'm banking on and they just jack up so as you see here i'm firing off my rock tombs and i'm just gonna straight rock tomb and this incinerate goes through which is great this is probably a frenzy plant because that was way too fast and bam it's a frenzy plant we live this comfortably and then we should be able to rock tomb again even if our opponent doesn't shield this this is perfectly fine well if they don't shield they have to shield but they as you see they choose death they choose violence and then as you see i should just be able to incinerate down and that's ggs i can send in raiko with the minus two it, it would have been ggs anyways because what happens is that if i grab the second shield all i'm gonna do is send in raiko and they have to blow their energy because since they're minus two they can't find with me down and i can still get to a shadow ball or wild charge and that meganium is low enough to where that will be ko and that's that's ggs as you see sweet 5-0 this is my best freaking tap tap team the tap tap team you would just it's just gonna run through a lot of things because of tap fat fast move damage and powerful charge moves so hopefully this helps you get through your sets by fast and go battle day and i hope you all enjoy the battles g freaking g's good luck on go battle day i hope you all enjoy the battles again this team goes really fast does a ton of damage has a ton of pressure and it's probably one of the funner teams that i put together just because it like does just an obscene amount of damage and it lets you run through your battles very quickly so Again, I started streaming again on Twitch, so please follow my Twitch if you would like to see me go live. I appreciate every single one of you, and again, I would love to see you on... The reason why I picked Twitch over YouTube is just because I have a lot of friends on Twitch. I first started streaming on Twitch. I'm one of the OGs of the Pokemon Go... Back in the day when Pokemon Go was literally like only 50 people, there was only me and like 7 other streamers that were streaming at the time. At least for Pokemon Go, and then... Well, more like double digits, but like you never got more than probably 100 views on Pogo at one point. And I was one of the pioneers that helped PvP on Twitch when it first started. So, y'all do me a huge favor. Please follow me on Twitch and I will be streaming exclusively on Twitch. I would do a YouTube stream, but I just, as a, like, in order to balance out time and everything, if I want, I, it's just easier to do one platform for over the other. Like I mentioned, I have a lot of friends on Twitch. So, again, do me a favor, follow me on Twitch. If you want to catch me on live stream, if you want to say hi, if you want to have a conversation, if you have any mental health ailments, what's so not, I can try and help you out. Because the ethic thing, ethically, I can give you mental health advice because I am a, I am a clinician. So yeah, and yeah, more on that in the future. I plan being a therapist is my full job. I love being a therapist, so I will, cons I will be a full time therapist while I do this. And I love y'all. Y'all keep me going. Love my community. Do me a huge favor, though. If you're not part of my community, please like and subscribe. It's totally free. Help me for the algorithm. Next to try man, you see the little sub box to the right. I am going to make... I'm getting a emo commissioned just so that I can make it a Charmander with a sign that says, please subscribe. Not because I'm desperate for subscribers, but this is an exclusive emo for you guys for YouTube just so y'all can subscribe. Just to entice you to subscribe. I'm gonna make sure it's like hella cool, okay? So, do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe. Totally free. Appreciate my current subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. Again, see me on Twitch. I will be streaming at least four four days a week. I'm trying to try to boast out of five, so four days a week. That's my schedule. So, again, come down, say hi, catch me on stream. I'm going to try to get a schedule together so that you guys can catch me or ask any questions in the comments if you want. If you prefer a time that I stream. I'm in Pacific. I'm in PST. So, if you really, really, if you're a huge fan of me, I appreciate you. And you can catch me there. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets. All right. Wait. No, that's it. Yeah. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets. And I will see you guys on the next video.